Heaven a place of perfect harmony, shattered, war erupted, angels clashing. His laughter echoed, a mockery of divine order. Michael saw the blaze, met his gaze, the fate of creation hung in the balance. Lucifer, fueled by pride, commanded legions of fallen, their beauty twisted, reflecting inner darkness. Michael, unwavering, rallied the faithful. Swords clashed, light against shadow, a symphony of destruction. The air crackled with celestial energy. Each blow resonated through the heavens, shaking the very foundations of creation. Fear gripped the hearts of younger angels, witnessing the fall of their brethren. Lucifer, the Lightbringer, now reveled in darkness. His power, once a gift, fueled his rage. He struck Michael, a blow meant to shatter, to break. Michael, wounded but resolute, refused to yield. The other archangels fought with ferocity. Gabriel, the messenger, wielded his horn, blasts of sound shattering the ranks of the fallen. Raphael, the healer, tended to the wounded, his touch a beacon of hope. Uriel, the watchful, guarded the gates of heaven, his eyes blazing with righteous fury. He repelled wave after wave of fallen angels, preventing them from reaching the vulnerable. Lucifer, sensing victory, pressed his attack. He disarmed Michael, casting his sword aside. Triumphantly, he raised his own blade, ready to deliver the final blow. Defeat loomed, yet Michael's faith remained unbroken. Lucifer, Michael spoke, his voice resonating with power. This path leads only to despair. Turn back from this darkness before it consumes you entirely. Darkness? This is my birthright. I will not be ruled by a tyrant. He raised his blade higher, ready to strike. Michael closed his eyes, accepting his fate. He would not fight his brother, not with hate in his heart. He would meet his end with faith in the Almighty. Father. The name echoed, a beacon of hope in the midst of despair. Narrator, as darkness descended, a single word escaped Michael's lips. A prayer whispered with unwavering faith. The battlefield fell silent. Angels, both faithful and fallen, turned their gaze towards Michael. Even Lucifer hesitated, his triumph momentarily forgotten. What trickery is this? He roared, his voice laced with fear. A brilliant light pierced the heavens, banishing the shadows. The air crackled with divine energy. All those present, angel and demon alike, felt the overwhelming presence of the Almighty. Lucifer shielded his eyes, rage twisting his features. The light intensified, bathing the battlefield in its brilliance. From the light emerged a symbol floating above the battlefield, a simple cross, yet it radiated with unimaginable power. It pulsed with the very essence of creation, of love and sacrifice. The fallen angels recoiled, their forms flickering under the holy light. Cries of anguish filled the air as the cross burned away their stolen divinity, revealing their true, twisted forms, Lucifer as Lucifer. He lunged for the cross, attempting to extinguish its light. But the moment he touched it, a searing pain shot through his being, Lucifer as Lucifer. The light of the cross burned away his illusions, revealing the broken and twisted creature he had become. The cross, a symbol of sacrifice and redemption, has stood the test of time. It represents the ultimate act of love and selflessness, a beacon of hope in the darkest of times. Over the ages, it has also become a weapon against the darkness a force that evil cannot withstand. Its light pierced through Lucifer's defenses, stripping away his power, revealing his true nature. The fallen angels, their strength waning, fled from the battlefield. Their rebellion, once a formidable force, now lay in tatters. The rebellion, once so full of promise, now lay in ruins. They had been vanquished, not by might, but by the enduring power of love and faith. The triumph of love over the fallen angels' might was a testament to the power of the cross. Michael, the archangel, stood silently amidst the chaos, his body battered but his spirit unbroken. Bathed in the light of the cross, he felt his wounds begin to heal, the divine energy mending his broken form. Strength flowed back into his limbs, his faith renewed, and his resolve stronger than ever. He rose to his feet, determination etched on his face, ready to continue the fight against the forces of darkness. The cross hovered above him like a divine banner, a symbol of the power and love that guided him. Lucifer, weakened and defeated, could only watch in hatred as his rebellion crumbled around him. The light of the cross had exposed him for what he truly was, a fallen angel consumed by pride and envy. His face twisted in hatred and envy, Lucifer's true nature was laid bare for all to see. The cross had not only defeated him, but it also revealed the depths of his corruption. 
Lucifer, once the morning star, now knew only darkness. He had fallen further than any angel, consumed by his own ambition. The cross, a symbol of everything he despised, had brought about his downfall. He looked upon Michael, his brother, who stood triumphant. Hatred burned in Lucifer's heart, but also a flicker of fear. Lucifer, as Lucifer, this is not over brother, I will have my revenge, I will make you suffer as I have suffered. With a final roar of defiance, Lucifer vanished from the battlefield. The shadows followed him, leaving behind only the faint scent of sulfur and the echo of his rage. Silence descended upon the battlefield, a silence so profound it seemed to echo the finality of the celestial conflict that had just transpired. The light of the cross faded, its glow diminishing slowly, leaving behind a sense of peace and tranquility that washed over the war-torn land. The remaining angels gathered around Michael, their faces etched with awe and relief. The Almighty had spoken, and his decree had brought an end to the chaos. Lucifer, the once bright morning star, was banished to the abyss, his rebellion against the divine order sealing his fate. Cast out from heaven, condemned to eternal darkness for his rebellion, Lucifer's fall was a stark reminder of the consequences of defiance. The victory was hard won, but it came at a price. The warriors mourned their losses, their expressions somber despite their triumph. The heavens bore the scars of battle, a reminder of the darkness that had threatened to consume them. The gates of heaven, once pristine, now carried the marks of the fierce struggle, and the threat of Lucifer remained, a shadow lurking in the depths, ever watchful, ever plotting, my heart heavy with sorrow, I knew that this was not the end. The horizon held the promise of more battles to come, more trials to endure. The battle for creation was far from over. The warriors, though weary, began to prepare for the next cosmic clash, knowing that the stakes were higher than ever. Lucifer would find a way to return, to spread his darkness and wreak havoc upon the world. His silhouette, a dark figure against the fiery backdrop was a constant reminder of the peril that lay ahead. With the threat of Lucifer contained, the heavens began to heal. The celestial realm, once marred by the chaos of rebellion, now shimmered with renewed light and hope. The angels who had fought valiantly, now turned their efforts towards restoration and peace. The fallen angels were cast out, their rebellion crushed. The echoes of their defiance faded into the void, leaving behind a sense of hard-won tranquility. The gates of heaven, once under siege, now stood as a testament to the resilience and unity of the angelic host. The remaining angels, their faith tested but unbroken, turned their attention to the task at hand. They knew that their duty was far from over. With unwavering resolve they began the arduous process of rebuilding and fortifying their celestial home, ensuring that such a rebellion could never threaten their sanctuary again. I flew forth to spread the word of Lucifer's defeat and the Almighty's unwavering love. As I traversed the realms, I carried with me the message of hope and redemption, reminding all of the power of faith and the strength of unity. I would warn humanity of the dangers that lurked in the shadows, urging them to resist the temptations of darkness. The battle against evil was not confined to the heavens, it extended to the mortal world, where vigilance and courage were equally needed. I tended to the wounded, my touch soothing both physical and emotional scars. Each act of healing was a step towards restoring the harmony that had been disrupted. The angels, though weary, found solace in their mission to mend what had been broken. I worked tirelessly to restore the heavens to their former glory, mending the rifts torn by Lucifer's rebellion. The scars of battle were deep, but with every effort, the celestial realm began to shine brighter, a beacon of hope and resilience. I stood guard at the gates of heaven, my gaze ever vigilant. The responsibility was immense, but the honor of protecting such a sacred place filled me with unwavering determination. I swore an oath to never let evil pass through those gates again, to protect the heavens from any further threats. This vow was not just a promise, but a sacred duty, a commitment to uphold the sanctity and peace of our celestial home for all eternity. Peace returned to the celestial realm, but it was a fragile peace. The scars of battle remained, a constant reminder of the conflict that had shaken the very foundations of heaven. The angels, forever changed by the rebellion, carried the weight of their victory with them. 
They had witnessed the depths of darkness that lurked within their ranks, the seductive power of pride and ambition, yet, through it all, their faith in the Almighty remained unshaken. They had seen His power firsthand, the love that bound creation together, and they knew that their duty was to stand guard against the darkness, to protect the innocent, and to spread the message of hope. The battle for heaven was over but the war for creation raged on. Lucifer, banished to the abyss, would forever seek to undermine the Almighty's creation, to spread his poison of hatred and despair. The angels, led by me, stood vigilant. We knew that the price of freedom was eternal vigilance, a constant struggle against the forces of darkness. And so we watched, and we waited, and we prepared, for we knew that Lucifer would return, and we would be ready for him. The battle for heaven might be over, but the war for creation had just begun. Add a comment, like, and subscribe.